Let's talk needles for the Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S400 serger. So this is something people ask me a lot. When they see in their book a reference for needles that are HA, X1, SP, what does that mean? And even the package that comes with this serger doesn't even say that. It just has a, two smaller sizes and three larger sizes. But you know what you, that is? That does reference a home sewing machine needle. So if you were to run out of these needles, you can reach over to your sewing machine needles and they will fit this serger perfectly. So that's the first bit of good information about this serger. You can use the needles. So if you have a denim fabric you're working on, you can put a denim needle in. If you have knit or ballpoint um, or ballpoint needles for knit fabrics, you can do that. So what does that SP mean? That is a stretch needle. It is a good for knits, but it does have a slightly different eye and scarf. So it can actually handle a little thicker thread and go through some little heavier layers. So that's kind of like a good overall needle that you can use. So if you do pick those up, put those in the serger, but just know that that actually means the same exact thing as a home sewing machine needle. So for me, I often put in, like if I'm working on Lycra, I'll put in a stretch needle from my sewing machine. That's the one with the yellow top that's very easy to have. So once I use up these, uh, I'm going to probably reach over to my sewing machine. I do not need to go to the store and buy specialty needles for this serger. But I do want to show you how to quickly change out your needles because one thing you need to know, let's say we're going from a four thread with both needles involved to a two, uh, to a three thread, like a rolled hem. So that means I usually clip the thread in the left needle. If you lift up the presser foot, that means that when you pull it all out, that's super easy. And a reminder, I always take the cone off the serger. Don't leave it dangling. Trust me, it comes back and plays with its friends and it's a mess. So the next thing you'll want is there is a tool that actually comes in the accessory box. This is a needle inserter tool and it can help lift it high and hold it while you loosen or tighten the screw. Lower the presser foot down and if you want, my looper is currently in the way, just turn the hand wheel back just a little bit. Slide this up. One thing that I do appreciate on this serger, and I don't always find this, is there are actually two screws. A top one has an L by it, that's the left screw, so I'm going to just give that a little bit of loosen and then let that needle drop out. So another thing about these needles, before you take them out, you're gonna notice the left one is actually higher up than the right one. So when you do put this back in here, you will wanna just double check that you have it all the way as high as it will go. Let me loosen that a little bit further. There we go, and that just drops out and easy to pull out. Again, when you put it back in, flat side to the back, put the point in first, and then bring it straight beside the other one. Move the tool so it's right in front of you. You can't do it from this side. There's not enough room to, to do that. Make sure the flat side's still to the back. Raise it all the way up. Make sure it is higher than the right one and then tighten it. Now I am gonna take this out and leave it out. So do make sure that as you finish, tighten that screw up. It's gonna tighten a lot more because now the shank isn't in the way. So tighten that so it doesn't wiggle loose. Trust me, that's not good either. And now I have switched it over to a simple, narrow three thread or a rolled hem if that's where you're going.